Ready, set, jump. And just like that, looking over the ends of the earth, Michael Anderson becomes the center of a formation 13,500 feet in the air. It's more than falling, it's actually flying. But if you ever want to ask how he got here, you have to catch him back on the ground. Oh. I can do almost everything an airplane can do, except land without a parachute. This jump that I just landed was number 5,776. He suited up for his first jump 38 years ago. I was only gonna do it once, but you know, they say the rest is history. Anderson was first intrigued watching the Golden Knights at an air show. But I didn't know anything about skydiving, so I walked away thinking that the only place a person could do that is in the military. And he says that could be why more African Americans don't jump. It's an obscure sport with high cost and big risks. But that's all part of the history with blacks in flight riddled with obstacles. The Tuskegee Airmen were the first black aviators at a time in the 1940s when America's armed forces were segregated. They ended up leading more than 1,500 attacks in World War II, but it wasn't until 2007 that many of them were handed a Congressional Gold Medal. Tuskegee Airmen were credited with helping to integrate the military. Anderson hopes that more African Americans will join in his hobby. Some at Skydive Spaceland, Clewiston did. Don't be scared. It was amazing. It's amazing. The view is beautiful. My next question for them was easy. So do you think you'll come back out here again? Oh, I'm coming back. I'm coming yeah. back. I'm going get, oh, get the license. That's how this member of Team Black Star got hooked. That's the best part. This is a, a close-knit group. It's, all, it's like family. You may see some outer differences on land, but you're all the same in flight. And he set several records for four-point jumps, skydivers over 60. He's even going out to California soon for another world record jump. He says there's no real way to describe it. You just have to do it. So hopefully in the next few months, I'll take him up on the challenge and I'll share with you all when I do a skydive jump myself. Reporting in Studio Farron Salee, WPBF 25 News.